How's it going, everyone? It's uh, Reversal Trader King. I'm going to talk about what everyone wants to talk about again, and everyone's probably just mind-boggled with Hollow, right? And uh, the problem is there's so much, like, attention on it, so much people pumping it that, you know, a lot of people are coming in, and usually when there's a lot of pumpers, it's just not the case, and it tends to go down, right? So we, we got to do what works. If I miss the boat, that is totally fine, but I, I'm kind of like, wow, this is... This is kind of like exactly what I, I am expecting this to happen because we did just hit the EMA-5 right here according to my system. As you can see, we're right onto it on the EMA-5. And every time I do that, um, it tends to reject on downtrend stocks. So if you want to know, downtrend stocks are easy to see because all you have to see is where's the direction of the stock? Down, 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 down. So then, you know, in, in a case, you're just going to go down. But... Yes, I understand that we can get this massive pump right here. So we want to make sure, like, so how do we time this to be the back thing? Because if you're just timing it just based on that, you're, you're going to be down, you know, back holding for, for quite some time waiting on it. And even if you bought just right up here in the 160 zone, it's at 92 cents. Um, after hours, it, it had a little decent pump to 99. So I'm going to stick to my guns. And I'm going to stick to the rules where we're going to wait till we have a couple candles of the EMA5 because we kept seeing these strong supports get taken out. You can it is so hard to trade it based on double bottoms as most of the time algos know it. It's the most common retail strategy available. A lot of people see it, they're like, "Okay, uh we're going to take this support, we're going to take that support. We're going to try to support this is probably going to be a support or we don't know and it might go up and then this will be your support, who knows." But what you want to see is um but do it based on what's work I, because I was this thing has been a cash money machine as you can see every, every time like right in here it goes down like four candles below the EMA 5 and then this candle pumps and then it goes straight to the EMA 10 and 20 but you never say like oh this is going to go straight to the EMA 10 and 20 because it doesn't mean it has to it could have did one more candle below here and then you might have been freaking out and then it pumps and then you're fine so what like i said we want to base it on probabilities and statistics as that is literally what all trading is nobody knows exactly where it's going to go it's just based on probabilities when we see this pattern how often does it go and that and that's really what it is and that's the difference between gambling at a casino because you have no edge in that it's just you know it's whatever is dealt to you we can know when to get in and when to get out as you can see hollow right now is at two daily candles below the EMA5. And that is called the time distance of my strategy. If you guys have no idea what I'm saying, you need to join my premium Discord. It's only $12 for both my day trade and swing trade. If you just want swing trading, which is what this trade is setting up as, it's only 6 bucks a month. It's very nice. Um, and I'll put that link in the YouTube comments below. But basically, um, what, what we're trying to do is get nice conservative gains. As you can see, when price hits this, what does price tend to do? A lot of people got sucking in this, and then it goes down, and everyone's like, oh, man, this like th this thing sucks, right? And it just keeps going and going down. But then it has this big random candle that makes everyone happy and goes to the EMA 10. But a lot of people who don't know my strategy probably bought up in here, and then it goes down, down, and down. And then you had to wait for this big candle here. But... You know, anybody that got sucked in this area has never recovered. That's why it's a dangerous game to buy above the exponential moving averages. This is called the no man land, the dark land, and it's very scary, especially in downtrend stocks. You, um, and that's why I like to use the time distance. Anytime a hollow hits the EMA 20, it tends to go down. As you can see right in here, it can definitely go up but it tends to go down. And we need to have time distance. We need to make sure we have time distance time distance to the most conservative EMA5, which is right here. I would be looking for at least two more daily candles of EMA5, and then I can, you know, start to get in and, and bank on this rally. Because, you know, if all else fails, let's just say it pumps to the EMA5, that's 1.21. Well, 94 cents to around 1.20 is a very nice gain. And I can always lock that in if it tends to do what it did right here and resist and then go back down and make a new low. Because as you can see, algos are perfectly doing this and a lot of people are pumping it just because of the prior history. We never know for certain. I definitely think it can have a big pump, but we never know how big it can be. Like, 
this is to me considered a pump. That's a very nice pump, and I would definitely take the gains. I would never wait for it to get above the um, red band, which is a sell zone, because we don't know if it would get there. So as of now, according to the strategy, we are not touching the average true range of four. So it's not like an A-plus setup. If it doesn't touch this average true range of four, it's not an A-plus setup. So the only way I take this trade is if I see many time distances away from the EMA-5. That means many candles. I only have one and two. I only have two candles not away from the EMA-5. Right in here, touch the EMA-5. This candle right here did not. There's a little gap of upside from the EMA-5. So there's only two days. I want to see at least four or five. Um... And that would make me make my decision. I will say it it does have some nice range to the EMA5 right now, but it's just too hard to take the risk. The another thing I want to show you guys is the um, KDJ. As of now, if I hover over this candle, we're at a 7.55. That is actually pretty low. And um, you might, you know, the last pump was at 10.61. Anything under 10 is considered really low, and, a sh and that tends to make a short-term correction up. So yeah, I wanted to point this out because a lot of people are like, man, I can't figure this hollow stock out. And it just keeps going down and down and down. And I just want to be so part of this big pump. And, you know, Lord willing, not a lot of, hopefully nobody got in sucked up into this pump and still holding because uh, a lot of these stocks are literally just pumps and dumps. So you want to make sure, one, you accumulate properly. If you put all your money in one ad, you're just hoping one, you're just hoping that it just goes up right instantly. You experience no emotional pain. It's just not the case for bottom reversals. Very rarely will you say, I'm going to buy hollow at 92 cents, and that's going to be the exact bottom, and it goes up from there. A lot of times, it'll go to 85 cents or 80 cents, and then you're like, wow, I hate this stock, and then it goes to a dollar. But then you, you didn't accumulate, and you could have had way more money if you know accumulated properly is what I'm saying. So never assume that you got the exact bottom. I have an accumulation uh, video and if anybody, anybody that's a premium member, please keep watching that. And that's literally how I do things. And it will save you a lot of pain from a day like this that went down 20%. And if you're just frenzy buying every dip, it can lead to a lot of trouble because you're just like, oh, I want to get cheaper and cheaper prices. And I've been there and done that. You have to only do one ad a day once the system meets the system. As of right now, Hollow does not meet my reversal system. So I, I am more careful and I see other stocks. So I'm going to play other stocks till this meets it. So this is Hollow. Can it absolutely pump from here? Absolutely. But like I said, start taking profit at the EMA 5, 10, and 20 when it does hit it and never be greedy. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to join the premium discord of my alerts and system and, um, and, and join the community, the links down below, it'll say join the premium discord for my alerts and system. And when you click that link, it'll be pinned. It'll take you to the free chat landing page. Um, please read how to subscribe, avoid scammers. People will message you or DM you and try to impersonate me with my logo. I never message or DM first. The easiest way to subscribe is is go on your server shop here. You'll see it or service descriptions on your phone and you'll see uh, swing trading and day trading. Day trading is 12 bucks a month and you get all my services all in one inclusive package. Or if, or if you just want swing trading, which is what we're talking about right now, it's only six bucks. But um, like I said, I try to make the, the best deal obviously is going to be day trading because swing trading can be kind of boring. You, you know, you're going to be waiting for hollow and you're going to, you know, you might hold a week or might hold a two. And day trading is going to be like that adrenaline where you just get in when stuff is moving down fast or up fast. And you try to get those reversions to the mean is how I do it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, like if you do it on computer too, it is slightly cheaper. So if you do go to the server shop, uh, try to do it on computer. And it'll be right here. And I think you guys are going to really love it. Get your uh, toes wet. And like I said, there there really is no pumping. This is what I base the strategy on is how algos revert price to the mean. Everywhere you see price, it goes up and down. You, you'll you see big down waves and then goes up. Big down waves and then goes up. Big down waves and then up. And then big down waves and then does it go up again. That All we're trying to get is those dead cap bounces. That is all we're trying to get is try to get close to the bottom when price goes up is when we and is when we get in. Because a lot of the times short sellers will will cover their shares. They made lots of gains, makes the price go up, and then they once it spikes again, shorts go back on and short it again. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um if you use 
If you want to join the premium Discord, I hope to see you in it. Um, it's a very nice thing. Join the day trading. That's one of the best. And then if you guys like the video, give a like, subscribe, comment. I'll do more videos and update you on Hollow. But as of right now, I'm going to wait it out. I'm going to give about two more daily candles. If I miss it, I miss it. If I don't, I have other plays that I'm in right now. So uh, thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys in another video. Peace out.